Hello everybody, and we are back again with another episode, Jack's Journey. I don't think I've ever said that at the start of a video before. <laughs> I don't know, I guess you guys will probably know already by the um, description of the video that it's one of my videos, so it's all good, it's all good. But yeah, we're back here again. Uh, we're just chilling in the village. I've been doing a little bit of trading because 1.3 is officially out. I'm recording this video on the 2nd, and 1.3 officially came out yesterday on the 1st of August, which was absolutely awesome. I did have the pre-release last episode, which came out a couple of days before, so, um, you know, a lot of the things were added, but there was a few extras that, you know, weren't really added properly until they'd done the full release, so that's all been fixed up, and, you know, I'm on the full release now, and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, what I've done is I've went for a little trek out that way, over past the castle to about a few thousand few thousand blocks so if, if you're looking at um, at X it, it's about about a thousand blocks so it's basically 1390 something so close to a few thousand blocks away and also the Z is I think it's about 60 or something like no yeah 60 or something like that I'm not too sure exactly what um, but you can see I've been doing a lot of mining um, you may wonder why I've got so much of those, because I found an Extreme Hills biome, and I also found a desert, a desert pyramid, uh, a few other freaking insane things. So what I've done is I've got a little base set up out that way, which I have a uh, mine track over there running, and as you can see, I have zilch iron, zero, none, nothing, anywhere. That is because I made and also uh, laid, I don't even know if that's correct, laid, did I, I well, I put down, <laughs> I put down about 1800, close to 1900 pieces of track. This chest was full and so was my inventory, so what I'd done is I'd got all the track, put it in here, took the other end of chest with me, so it was like a little backpack, which is one of the best um, you know, ways I've, I've thought of, of using the ender chest. It's like an extra little, little chest you've got, so you just take it, and I sit it down here next to my torches, and when you need it, you just pop it on the thing, on the ground, access it, make sure you've got your silk touch pick on you at all times, and you pick it up, on your way. Hey, just makes it easier, got that extra bit of room if you go mining, or if you're doing a bit of exploring, things like that, put a bit of food in there, put some extra tools and stuff like that, which is what I usually use it for, but yeah, so what we're going to do, well, how's the sun, where's the sun at, oh, noon, yeah, we should probably get going, um, we want to head on over there, because it is absolutely amazing what i found, and you guys are going to absolutely crap your dacks. I haven't done any work over here, which I really, really, really sorry about because I really wanted to get some work happening with the, all the new slabs and things like that. Because um, I've been traveling, I've been working on a lot of stuff over here. So I just want to show you guys. I haven't actually gone into the pyramid yet because I wanted to save that for you guys. Um, so I haven't actually gone in there. I've walked in there. Well, I have gone in there technically. I've walked in there, had a look around, you know, pretty cool, uh, but I didn't remove any blocks, I didn't touch anything, I didn't go down into the bottom where all the chests are and stuff, wanted to save that to go with you guys, just because um, I haven't actually seen one before besides the one we've seen on the new Fireforge server, which Raz had already gone into and, and got all the stuff out, so I didn't really get to check much in there. Um, so I've never actually been in one, I've seen, you know, obviously Raz's video and also B O go into them, but I haven't been there myself, so kind of wanted to wait and uh, show you guys, so... I'm sorry if this is giving you a bit of a headache or an epileptic fit or something like that. Um, it has does give me a little bit of a headache moving back and forth, but um, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's fun. I think it's fun having nice curvy curvy lines everywhere. This just goes on forever. I, I kind of wanted to get sort of, instead of going straight out this way and then angling back in and going that way, I thought I'd try and get a sort of diagonal across, but <laughs> this world and this layout wasn't really allowing me to do that. So <laughs> I kind of just made it up along the way. You know, just sorted a few things out. Could have cut across through there, but, you know, we do what we do. We make it a bit fun. Um, this goes on for quite a way, so that's nice. We'll just keep chilling. There's some really, really nice views as we get along here. So this is just a... This is an, an old village because my... Sorry, an old um, friggin' desert. That's the one. An old desert because my spawn's just over there. So this was already generated in 1.2. 
1.2.5, whatever I generated this world in. But as we get it here a bit further, all of this is new generation. Because I did travel towards the jungle and the extreme hills over the back there in 1.2.5, also over that way and also a little bit this way. So the only direction I didn't travel in was this way because I knew that there was going to be something big coming out soon. And I thought instead of traveling everywhere in this world and having to obviously travel about 10 billion blocks to get all of the new chunks, I thought I'll just leave one way and then we'll uh, you know, figure it out a bit later and see if anything pops up soon. So what I had done is I'd, I'd got the pre-release and I just started traveling this way. I just walked, so I just started running and running around, took a lot of food just to see if I could find some new generator chunks. The first thing I came across was this jungle. And the first thing that I wanted to check on was whether there was cocoa beans on these trees because that is the new update. And as you can see, just there, there is. And here and everywhere, there is cocoa beans for days. So as soon as I seen that, I was like, oh my God, this 1.3 pre-release update has worked because I had to cut my other series, my other season short as this is season two. I did have to cut season one short. Just quick look at this view. How cool is this? I've sort of just used the landscape. I've gone through all of the trees around the edges here. This bit here gets a bit how you're going, but we get there in the end. So I just kind of just cut through all the trees, made it as natural as possible. I could have done tunnels and things like that, but I just wanted to be out in the open. Nice flowing world and everything like that and just have a bit of fun with it. So um, yeah, so getting back to season one, I had to cut that short because I did do a few extra updates before mm. the full version was out of one point, so Minecraft 1.0, and I did actually wreck the world by accident, and I tried to get the jungles into the world, and I wrecked it, and there was no actual ender portal or end at all. Um, if any of you guys have seen that, I know quite a few of you have, um, and that's what basically the reason why I started season two pretty early and didn't really get much really completed in that world. Kind of just got over it. It was a big waste of time, not really being being able to go to that end and get that dragon. So, got season two crackalacking along here. We got a lot of oh damn, I didn't want that to happen. That has happened so much. There is that many friggin' animals along this way. It is absolutely ridiculous. Like, it's stupid to think that there's that many animals in this world. It's absolutely ridiculous, but... So I keep my sword out, I try and whack them as they come through, but... Get stopped. <laughs> get stopped along the way. Get away. Got uh, all my new equipment, got my new sword and a couple of other things on me, so... Oh, chicken, bro. Really? That's right, we're nearly here. This is how far I travelled, so it wasn't that bit of a distance, wasn't that that long on, on the minecart, but walking out here took me forever. Travelling for a few hours, so... This is the new Extreme Hills biome that I found. It is absolutely amazing. And there is the pyramids. So, <laughs> woohoo! I think we're going to go check this out. Because what I'd actually done when I walked, I'd done a big, I walked through that desert we went through and all the way around out there and then back through this way and somehow stumbled across this. And then I walked over and I was like, all right, I'll take one step into the Extreme Hills and dig down and start a branch mine to try and find some emeralds. And they said emeralds was really hard to find. Um, like, like rarer than diamonds. That is actually untrue. <laughs> they are so easy to find, it's absolutely ridiculous. I walked in, and my first tunnel I did to the left, four or five blocks in, emerald. So I was like, alright, that's cool, that's maybe, maybe, you know, fluked that hard. And then I thought, hang on, let me go the other way, and I'll try. Ooh, how do you get down here? Oh, i got to go around. Alright, cool. Look at all these nice blocks we've got in here now. Smooth stone blocks and creeper face blocks. We're going to be able to do a lot of building with that. Because I was going to start building some stuff in sandstone, but I wanted to wait for this update so I could get all these cool blocks. So let's get that out of the way first. We've got all these diamond so, um, things in there. Oh, emeralds. Oh, yeah. No, yuck. Yes. Ah, oh, very cool. Uh, we can leave that, leave that, 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 that that, I don't want that, we can keep all this because that's, that'll come handy sometime soon, so, um, but yeah, so, yeah, well, I forget what I was talking about, but, um, I always do that, don't I, I was going really good this episode, damn it, <laughs> I was going good with remembering what I was talking about, but that's basically it, there's nothing really much more to that, I just wanted to show you guys that and also show you how easy these emeralds are to get, that's what I was talking about, how easily the emeralds are to get, they're meant to be super hard, but, they are super friggin' easy. Went that way, a couple blocks, and this way, a couple blocks, found some more. Went back that way, found some few more. They are just everywhere. And um, I've also found an abandoned mine shaft here, 
which I'll show you guys soon. It is up there, that first hole that's up there. Oh, how annoying is this headroom? All right, let's get rid of it. That's good, good, good. All right, cool. So what we've got is, look at this. One, two, three, four, five. On the sixth block, there is an emerald. So we'll only get one for now because this is just a standard pick. Um, I went that way quite away. This way didn't go too far because then I found a spawner. Oh, slam. Come here, baby. So yeah, I found this little spawner here as soon as I came down here. So I was like, oh yeah, cool. And I think this does lead off into where I wanted to show you guys in a second, but we'll go and have a look at that in just two seconds. So yeah, I found that straight away, which that led into something else that is way more ridiculous than that. Something most ridiculous, probably more ridiculous than I've ever seen, than I've ever seen uh, personally. Um, and look, more here. So bam, they only come in one little block stints, but I found some more diamonds there. I found some more diamonds here. I found some more diamonds up there. Coal here. And I just found diamonds everywhere. So that's why I got a lot more. And then I started using my efficiency. Um, it's got efficiency 5 and then the fortune 3. I started using that on there. So um, <clears throat> when I brought across the ender chest. So that is why uh, I, I got a lot more. Because everyone keeps asking me, how do you have so many diamonds? I've said before, fellas, that I've used fortune 3. If you have fortune 3, you are going to have a good day. Ooh. I don't like the looks of that. That can stay closed. Yeah, we can go in there later. I don't really want to go in there yet. It looks like it sucks in there. Come on. Oh, pick on. Yep, that's right. We can lick and leave that for now. Whatever. Um... But yeah, so this world has chickens. Holy crap, they scared the absolute shit out of me. <laughs> I was like, wow, I'm going to die. Creepers are absolutely friggin' insane now. Like, you wait until you start playing 1.3 and you get a creeper to the face. You will friggin' die. Like, these guys are absolutely stupid now. They've put them back to what they were like in 1.3. I mean, um, first Minecraft. And they are absolutely bloody insane. Oh, that, that, um... Didn't that just break like two seconds ago? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I thought that broke. And I thought, hang on. Did my silk touch just break? I'm friggin' screwed. Oh, man. Look, I was digging down. This is this is a path I'd only recently just dug to get down to the bottom here. I actually dug up from here and I came past this. So this is a spawner. A I have found that many of these. It's ridiculous. So this is where we're going down there in a second. But I've got one here. Um, and if I come down here, you guys are going to absolutely freak. Look, I got a double spawner. How friggin' awesome is that? That is the reason why I come over. Because we've got double spawner here... Uh, I don't know what this is here for. Oh, that goes up the top there somewhere. That was the first original one I put down. So this is my little station I've got set up. I've got a bit of iron in here, I think. Yeah, not much. That's cool. Put a lot of this crap in here. Just chucking all this stuff in here. Got a couple there and a bit of iron. Then here's all my chest and stuff. This is what I need. A couple of good efficiencies. That's good. Bought a bit of this over so I could sort of get something worked out on these. Um... But yeah, the thing that really, 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 really annoyed me, more to say, uh, oh, I'm pissed off, I'm sorry about swearing, I don't usually swear, but this really, hey, I didn't see you before, I don't think I've been this way yet, I haven't, wow, I'm finding new things, new things with you guys, I haven't been this way, doesn't really make sense, I've been through here, that's all good, um, well I guess not, I thought I'd been through a lot of this cave. I guess not. Anything this way? Yeah, a little bit this way. Hmm. There you go. Guess you find new things. No, find new things every second in this place. This place is that. F this place. Seriously, I know with the large biomes, but this place is absolutely ridiculous. Look at that. Betcha there's more spiders here somewhere. Straight above me, I betcha. Oh, that's that's a, that's a lot of death down there. And we're going to bail from that because I don't really feel like dying. Because I've died a fair few times down here and I'm kind of sick of dying. So let's just quickly jump past here and run back down here. But this place is ridiculous. So what, what I'm pissed off most about is that um, I was coming through here. 
there was a spider spawner just here that I'd come through and I'd just destroyed because I didn't want it, which is fair enough, that's quite a ways away. But then I came through here and I was like, you got to be kidding me. One there, another one up here. So I'd come through here, I kind of went, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, made my way. It was right here on this torch. I could not see those, so I've just gone, boink, see you later. I do not want to die. I was taking these out as I go. Then I come around the corner, fix all this up, and then go, you've got to be freaking kidding me. I would have had three. One here, and I could have stood here. Bam, all three of these perfectly working so that that is that is not the start of the anger that i have towards this game and my decision of destroying that one right now because look at this if i walk over here and drop down here that's one. Oh, hang on that's two if i stand here all four of these little bastards work if i had that one that would have been five do you understand the amount of anger that I have right now towards this game. One, two, three, four, would have been five, and that is also a sixth one, which works if I stand here. But the thing with that is, that one turns off and so does that. But if I go like this, that one on, this, that one on. So that one is literally one block out of reach. I would have had one more there. And if I walk over here, there is also the one up the top that, that I've seen. So if I come and stand up here, which is right here, this one works. Them two down there work perfectly fine, but these ones don't. So I literally have like seven freaking spawners. I, well, I got six, but I did have seven freaking spawners that are like within three or four or five blocks radius of each other with them all working. And it's absolutely freaking ridiculous because this this is fine. Quad spawner, perfectly fine. I can stand, you know, basically about here, you know, in 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 between here, and they and they all sort of work. So that's perfectly fine. I'm going to get all this set up. I'm going to have them to come right here and um, smash the XP. We'll be fine. But it's just so annoying because I could have had five. I could have had friggin' five. You know, how do you know how awesome that would have been? Would have been like the best thing ever. Would have been literally the best thing ever. So, we might do a little bit of work on this now. There's a lot of digging here that I don't really feel like doing because I've been doing too much digging around this place for a while. So, what I'm thinking, we might just go for a little adventure, have a look around, see what else we can find. Uh, not down here, I'm just kind of sick of being down here. We'll go up here. It might, it most probably will still be night time, but that's fine. Um... Just go, I might put this emerald back down so I don't lose it though. Because I don't want to lose that. Hell no. But yeah, I think this is pretty cool. All of this works. This is going to be a charm. And we're going to be all good. Because there's so much resources still down here. So we've got a lot to work with. And there's also um, four spawners that I can, <laughs> I can make all work at the same time. So level 30 enchantments is not going to be any dramas at all. I've got that much diamond. I've got a bit of armor here that I'm going to have to do um, enchantments on. I did a level 30, no, level 28 on that, and got Feather Falling Foul and Protection 3, which I think is pretty cool. But we've still got a bit more to do, so I've got 23 levels at the moment. We'll go for a walk around, check out a few things. <sighs> I'm a bit tired. A bit tired. I don't have to work early tomorrow morning, so I'll stop a little bit later tonight, which is pretty cool, so... Let's jump up out of here and we'll, we'll see what's going on with it. the time of the day. Ooh, daytime. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. I think we might go for a little trek. That looks cool. Up over there looks cool. See what else we can find. All right, I'm going to quickly check on how long this video is going for because I'm not too sure. So we'll take a little quick second break and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Second break in a second. Second, second, second. Bam. And we are back, we are back, 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 gonna go for a... Oh, damn it, I thought I was gonna get him too. That would have been the maddest intro to the second part of this video ever. No, it would have been alright though. Would have been pretty cool. But yeah, ooh, what's going on here? Nothing, 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 nothing. Fair enough. But there's one thing I thought I'd tell you guys that I'm friggin' excited about. Stop being glitchy, stupid friggin' light. Um, I have spoke to my landlords over the last couple of days about getting the cable internet and they have given me the go-ahead 
So I am that excited about get this because it's it's been a little while wait for them because I kind of had, had to wait for them because if I owned this place I would have it by now, but I do not own this house that I live in. So um, just had to wait for the landlords to give me the go ahead to be able to get that installed, and they have. So I am absolutely psyched. I cannot wait to get that installed. I've still got to find someone that can, um, you know, dig trenches and, and get it all, all the underground put in for me, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it as hard as all hell because I'm so keen to get this done. Um, okay. I'm not on a server. Is that going to kill me? No? Okay. Um, has anybody seen that? That is absolutely freaking stupid. What does that even mean? Disconnected internal server. Maybe that's something to do... Oh my god. Really, Minecraft? Really? You're gonna do this? Come on. Alright. I'm going to try and fix this shit up. Alrighty. Reloaded back up. We seem to be going okay for the, for the moment, but if this does this one more time, I'm going to have to end the episode just because that is a load of crap. Whatever that is, that is absolutely friggin' stupid. So, if it happens again, I'm really sorry. Drop the episode there, but hopefully it doesn't happen and we'll be all good to go. But what we're going to do now is we're going to look for something a little bit, little bit special. We're going to try and find a jungle temple, a jungle temple. So, hopefully we can, if not, then we'll have to just keep searching and try and find it in the next few episodes, but I want to try and find one and then get like a little mine track maybe straight out here to it so we can go check it out and take it all down. Get all that mossy cobblestone! But this jungle goes into a swamp. We ain't going to find much in there. Ah, it sucks. Had a few good ideas from you guys uh, coming back. Uh, to me from the last episode, someone, oh, I forget who it was, I'm sorry dude, um, has told me to build a, um, like a big jungle tree, and then put some cocoa beans on it, and, and get all that sort of sorted up, so I'm going to definitely, I'm going to do that for you, um, when I get back to the village, haven't been there for a little while, been out here sorting some stuff out, but we'll get back there soon. We get that all sorted up and get a get a big tree for you. I've got a few ideas that I want to start incorporating some trees and things like that to my to my village. So we'll get that cracking soon. You did just read my mind and, and tell me to build a tree, which I was going to. So thanks for that, brother. Guess there's nothing much out there. So this is this is kind of kind of boring out here. Nothing. Let's make this fall in. That'd be fun. Whee! That was fun. Oh, oh, oh! Double tap didn't work. Double tap did not work. Alright, but getting quickly back to um, cable. Man, I am that keen for cable. It is unbelievable. Uh, at the moment, my internet has been so ridiculously crap, I can't even play on the Fireforge server. So the footage you've seen yesterday and maybe episode 2 in the next couple of days was, was played previous to my internet being stupid and breaking and doing whatever it does, just being annoying. Um, because yeah, I'm getting like massive ping to Raz's server, um, to the 5 server, like three, 4,000 ping. So I open a chest, I right click on a chest, go chest, right click, wait about 40, 50, 60 seconds, and then it finally opens. So <laughs> it's absolutely friggin' hopeless. I can't even play, so... It's really annoying. Download speeds are like one megasecond. Upload speeds are absolutely disgusting. I have to upload overnight and it takes me like seven hours to upload a 25 minute video. So really super annoying, but I'm doing it. It's all right. I upload overnight anyway, so it's no trouble at all. It just takes a little bit longer, I think, but I don't really care because I'm asleep anyway. So <laughs> it does not bother me the slightest, but when I get um, my new internet, hopefully in the next few weeks now, um, Definitely pushing for the next few, few weeks. I've got a few mates helping me sort out a few things. My stepdad is an electrician, so hopefully he's got a mate that lives in Sydney that can sort of help me out and, and figure out a few things that maybe get him to come around and help me install this cable and things like that. So hopefully he, he sorts it out and then hooks me up a little bit because that would be friggin' awesome. Cannot wait. 
But yeah, so that means, um, you know, more uploads, um, bigger uploads too. You know, not so much more, uh, but just mainly bigger uploads because I'll have, um, you know, instead of, I'll be going from, say, 600 mega, 600 kilobytes per second up upload to about 2.5 megabytes per second, which is literally like freaking five times faster than what I'm on now. So be able to upload either a five times five times longer video in the same time or upload the same amount in five times less. So I'll figure that out. I'll see what works best for me and hopefully I get some more videos and even longer videos out to you guys. Um because <clears throat> that would be awesome. So let's hopefully I get that on soon. And oh Enderman, you wanna die? You wanna die? Give me your Ender Pearl. Yep, he would run away, you little pussy. Where is he? Come at me. There you are. Oh man, that scared the shit out of me. Freaking Enderman, pussy. Come at me. You're only on fire. You got the water there, why don't you jump in the water? Ha, <laughs> that's right, because you can't, because you suck. Endermen suck. <clears throat> They suck. I haven't seen many of those, so every time I try and see one, I try and kill him because I haven't got many of the ender pearls left, and I kind of want to get some more, and I want to end up going back to the uh, Nether, maybe in the next few episodes, to try and find um, some more blaze and get some more blaze rods and things like that. Get that all sorted. Um, just have a bit of fun in there. Haven't been there forever because I generally hate the Nether, but we'll have a look. Have a look. Oh man, this is lagging off its head. Woo! Must be some new chunks generating here for sure. I haven't been this far yet. Oh, look at that. Look at that chunk generation. That is insane. I have not been here. For that is definite. There's a cat. That is a cat. That is a cat, and we hate cats. Well, I don't like cats. Maybe you guys like cats. I like cats in, in real life, like little kittens and stuff, and then just general general cats. But in this game, cats suck, and they're a waste of time. Oh, is this Extreme Hills, or is this Jungle? Jungle Hills. Hey, I didn't know they had Jungle Hills. River? Where are we now? River, still. Where's Jungle Hills? I want... Oh, my God. Huh. All right. I'm going to have to try and fix this. I'm going to have to um, restart my computer or something. But, yeah, that, uh, that'll have to do for this episode, because that is not on... Sorry if we didn't get up to much, but I did just want to show you guys um, everything I've been I've been doing, what I've found, everything like that. There's a lot more planned for next episode, so definitely stay tuned. It's going to be in a couple of days, so appreciate everything you guys have been doing. I did notice a few more likes coming across. Sorry, a few more subscribers and also likes too. Likes have been up, and that is friggin' awesome. But um, yeah, noticed a few more subs, so thank you very much. I appreciate it a lot. Hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, the content, and there will definitely be some more coming your way. Keep up to date with the videos. Do not miss anything because your life will be sad and miserable without me in it. Um, <laughs> it's all good. All right, cheers for watching. Uh, have a good one, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya.